Hi everyone, welcome to today's prophetically driven message. I'm walking right now, so if you hear any noise in the background, that's what it is. Um, this message is for someone who you feel you feel like you stuck, you feel like you blocked, you feel like you delayed. Um basically like what Father God showed me is you want to blame someone else for your delays even though you may have people coming against you in the spiritual realm as far as black magic and witchcraft or, or copycat doppelgangers people want to be like you but they want to go corrupt opportunities or 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 discredit you to from being able to obtain certain opportunities they try to beat you up and tell people these bad things about you father god wants you to know concerning them situations that stuff is coming to to it's coming to cease like he's stopping that the last person who did that against you they don't know that they blow their own cover when they went to that person and told that person that stuff about you the person don't believe what they told them about you um and then for the other person who feeling delayed or blocked or whatever you have to take accountability for where you may have been distracted and you blocked and you delayed yourself we have to not give Satan so much credit of saying, oh, the devil doing this or our enemy is doing that because that means you think your enemy got more power than your God. And ain't no man or woman walking this earth, ain't no demon, no principality, nothing is more stronger than the power of Father God, the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus, okay? You got to know that because if you think that somebody magic spells and rituals or curses or, or any musicians, um, sorcery or whatever you want to call it. If you think it's more stronger than you, then if you think it's more stronger than the Holy Spirit or the God that you serve, then that's what will happen to manifest in your life. They darkness will come upon your life because you're giving it more attention you give it more power than what your faith is for your god understand father god gonna let us reap the consequences because that's we got to know that he chastising us so we can become aware take accountability and then change whatever it is never lie to yourself never hold on to a lie just be like nah it was them it's them it's them because if you see that father god allowing something to happen to you somewhere along the line you you yourself was not covered because you could have been being complacent in your prayers because if you are complacent in your prayers but the person who working against you or speaking negativity in the atmosphere against you if they doing that more than what you are praying you showing god that you complacent in your relationship with father god so of course he's gonna allow some stuff to happen until you come into awareness and then you start praying and then you will see that you building yourself back up spiritually because you don't want to put all this focus on what you're seeing but you ain't doing nothing as far as your spiritual relationship with father god and that you supposed to you know what i mean that you know that the time you're supposed to spend with father god if you lacking on that of course the enemy he got a foothold there's an opening for him to attack you or them to attack you whatever you know what i mean but Father God has a second chance for you, but you got to take accountability the way you where you can confess to Father God. Well, yeah, I was distracted and understand that Father God will let somebody come slap your head and take something that was yours because you act like you ain't want it because you was too busy focusing on the wrong thing or chasing after the wrong relationship or chasing after the wrong job opportunity that looked more lucrative. But sometimes he wants you to start from the bottom or start from somewhere that may look like this look less so you if it look less you might think well no i need the more so i'm gonna jump where the more at because i'm gonna receive more accolades or whatever you may be needing or looking for but that be the snare when father god wanted you to start from the ground up because it was more longevity start from the ground up versus you picking the other choice you get what i'm trying to say so just be mindful of that take your accountability and understand that father god do have a second chance for you you may ain't get it right last time but you're gonna get it right this time and though people come against you nothing that they do will come near you and harm you and though it may it may form you may see 
whatever the stuff that might happen that you feel like, oh, this is happening towards me. But you have a responsibility to take power and authority over that warfare, cast it to the lake of fire or divinely reverse it back. Don't let nobody tell you that you, oh, to do the reversal, you got to be careful. No, because if they send evil your way, you have a right to send it back to them, no matter your rank. They don't have, nobody has a right to cast spells or send negativity to your to you and you just have to send it back to the lake of fire no because they got to learn not to play with darkness otherwise father god said he will hand you over the strong delusion so so if in your heart you like to play with magic and darkness and and come against people and manifest off of somebody else's destiny and, and making wishes off of somebody else's energy and wrapping yourself in somebody else's energy I'm a divine reverse everything that you did and you got to understand you're going to suffer the consequences. It don't matter how how much more experience you have. You don't have a right to manipulate somebody else's energy, will or destiny. They don't have a right to do that to you and you got to know that. So you have a right to say I divinely reverse back any and all evil wickedness that the enemy is sending my way with the hand of God. You understand the hand of God is your best friend. <laughs> The hand of God will be your best friend. And the hand ain't nothing more stronger than the hand of God, okay? Also, you can also um, just remember to cover yourself from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet in full armor of the Lord every day. Ask the Lord to cleanse your energy and you lose from yourself and cast back to the lake of fire any negative energy perceptions or any negative attachments that you may have attached to yourself or by being connected to people who you ain't have no business being connected to, talk to people. Loose that stuff from you and cast it back to the lake of fire. Ask the Lord to replenish and cleanse your energy, replenish you spiritually in any way that you may be lacking. So until next time, I love you guys.